Disney's had a rough old time of it lately, haven't they? <laughs> All but one of their films has bombed. They lost over a billion dollars at the box office. They had to close their Star Wars hotel due to a lack of interest. Their investors are turning on them in droves. They're being sued by 9,000 women for not paying them the same as the men in an era where that is actually illegal. They uh, lost their tax-exempt status in Florida, of course, as well, due to pushing the transforming of innocent children. And they lost their copyright of Steamboat Willie, effectively allowing anyone, literally anyone to use the character for basically anything that they want i mean i just love it i just love it anyway uh, this of course doesn't mean that you won't get crap from leftists if your mickey mouse project turns out to have a tiny insignificant da vinci code level of cryptic reference to world war ii's german side in the title as we are now finding out hello Welcome back to Will of the Fans. My name is Will. See what I did there? I hope you're having a lovely, lovely day. If you find you're enjoying this video at some point at all, then please click the like button. And don't forget, you can also subscribe to the channel if you like what I'm doing here. And you'd like to support me in the fight against madness, wokeness, insanity, political pandering, and everything that is ruining our entertainment, our pop culture, and our culture in general. Thank you very much. We're going back to our friends at Bounding Into Comics here for this piece that is, honest to God, a little unbelievable. But, well... Let's explore, shall we? Steamboat Willie inspired horror game Infestation 88 gets name change after title accused of being a Nazi dog whistle. Oh no! Those Nazi dog whistles are back, guys! Oh god, what are we gonna do? It's a dog whistle! Oh god, we can't hear it, but they're, they're somehow organizing! They're, they're, gonna, they're gonna take over the world! The MAGA Republicans! Oh god, you sound like Billy Joe Armstrong. Fuck, what happened to that band? Boy, they used to be punks. They used to be rebellious. Anyway, that's not the point, is it? This is the point. And first of all, look at this hideous, horrifying image of uh, Steamboat Willie there. Looking all messed up. Uh, not quite as shocking to look at when uh, that, that when compared to uh, the Mickey's Mousetrap movie that I, I looked at the other day. That's got a little bit more terror baked into the face. But uh, this one certainly doesn't look very nice either. Uh, you definitely don't want to run into that down a dark alley. Well, maybe. I mean, anyway, whatever. In the latest case of social media woke scolds being woke scolds. That's a nice one. I like that. Oh, thanks. I might take that. Thank you, Spencer. Being whipped into a frenzy by their own delusions, a Steamboat Willie inspired horror game has chosen to rename itself after its original title was accused of being a secret signal to supporters of anti Semitic and specifically Yahtzee ideology. This is the world that we live in, guys. This is 2024. This is 2024! <laughs> oh, no. It's still going on. It's been years and it's still going on. All right, come on. There must be some explanation for this. Let's find out together, shall we? Announced on January 1st. <clears throat> alongside the classic Disney cartoon's entry into the public domain, the upcoming debut from fledgling developer Nightmare Forge Games. That's a Steam company name if I've ever heard one. Sees players take on the role of a vermin exterminator who, upon their team's arrival to their latest job, discovers that the location is overrun by a legion of rats led by a monstrous version of its source material star character. At the time of its initial reveal, the game was unveiled as Infestation 88. However, given the widespread use of the 88 by white supremacists as a coded reference to the phrase, mm, you're not going to get me to say that and clip it, as H is the eighth letter of the Latin alphabet upon which the German language is based, the title's reference to the number was soon taken by a large swath of internet activists as a supposed signal of the studio's own nazy beliefs. All right, um, okay. Uh, I'm pretty well informed, pretty knowledgeable guy. I've studied my history a fair bit. I know a fair amount about WW2, thanks to my mum having a slight obsession with it, and my grandfather fighting in it. Uh, so, you know, I could say I'd know quite a lot about um, this sort of stuff, and I have never heard of 88, or 88 I suppose it might be intended to be, or at least that's how it's being received, to mean HH, as in 
Schmeil Schmittler. And, um, yeah, I just don't, I mean, did anyone have any idea out there? Are there any white supremacists watching this to, who know about about this? Are there any, any neo-Nazis out there watching that maybe could uh, inform me about this? Because uh, I didn't know. I had no idea. Of course, these days, if you're right of Karl Marx, you are uh, basically the big H himself, you know? Retweeting at Discussing Films, now deleted sharing of the game's trailer. Twitter uses one eye Ross and man. Okay. Uh, passive aggressively pearl clutched. Is it just me or is Infestation 88 a very odd name for a game where you have to gas rats? Well, I mean, it could be 1988. Maybe it's set in 1988. Later pressed for an explanation as to the reason for their concern, the user argued 88 is a dog whistle used by newsies. Uh, the eighth letter of the alphabet is H. You can guess what HH stands for. Jewish people are often compared to Ritz by... No, uh, I can't read half of these sentences because YouTube is so bloody strict about this stuff. I mean, it's not that bad. I'm just reading for crying out loud. Seeking to support this account that I'm not trying to pronounce again's original conclusion with their own paranoid take, Call Me POV pointed to the sister white supremacist numerical code 14, used by groups in reference to their ideology's favourite 14 word slogan. Well, I don't know that either. Moonfestation made throughout his 14 characters, including the space. Including the space? Are you serious, bro? Including the space! <laughs> oh, it's 14 button presses on a keyboard, guys. Not including the shift. I mean, this is bollocks. Infestation also is 14 points in Scrabble. Nightmare Forge games have apparently been around for 14 years. And the game is a one to four player co-op. <laughs> it's just... This is the fucking... This is the long... Like, the... The most spun out, stretchiest argument I've ever heard in my life. At what point are you just desperately looking for anything, anything to be offended by? This is insane. <laughs> when you've already invoked one dog whistle openly, seems some suspect to link the other one repeatedly. Oh my god, are you serious? And they call us conspiracy theorists. This is the biggest conspiracy theory, the most desperate attempt to turn nothing into something that I've ever seen. This is crazy. You guys have got way too much time on your hands. Do you know what I'm going to do after I finish making these videos? I'm going to go and do something else to help my family, like buy groceries or, or something else that... Yeah, you know, I don't have time to sit around after I edit these and get them into position. I have other stuff to do. Get a life. Jesus. Attempting to find more dirt in support of this argument, Virin Jubal, who in his bio proudly boasts that he created the Stop Gamergate 2014 hashtag. <laughs> Fuck you. Claim that the studio's mod team on Discord has out and proud nunnunns. Uh, his evidence is a handful of screenshots taken from said server supposedly supplied to him by a friend. As for offering content therein, the one screenshot, a user can be made seen making fun of non-standard pronouns. Yeah, I'm going to take a she-it on your steamboat, Willie. My pronoun is she-it. Hee-hee. <laughs> Um, that doesn't qualify you to be a new moon Frankly, uh, it just makes you a common sense person who can see the world the way it is. You can keep going down this rabbit hole at your own leisure if you'd like to, but I don't have time. I have far more important things to do. Uh, so I'm going to leave it at that for this one in particular, but boy, did we have a laugh. Some people will believe absolutely anything. Let me know how you feel about this in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like this video if you have enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe to Will of the Fans if you'd like to see more of me. I'd like to see more of you. I'll be back with another video for you very soon. But until then, remember to question everything, but not as much as these guys. And uh, I'll see you next time.